Listen, y'all are vicious in the comments. Bro, you have to redo this video. This information is misleading. Why do you even begin to make a comparison if you don't level match the plugins? My friend, you didn't properly level match. BX cheats by having the volume slightly louder than the EV2. All right, let's let's talk about it. Let's dig into it. I'm going to give you guys a redo on this plugin comparison and explain a couple things because apparently y'all think it, it wasn't a good comparison. So let's go. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music production, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content and hit that bell icon so you know exactly when that new content drops. So, <laughs> and, and hit the bell icon. So, wait, no, I said that already. It's been a while. I took some time off. Anyways, a little while back, I did a comparison video between the, the Brainworks console SSL 4000E, got that from Plug, Plugin Alliance, and then the Waves SSL EV2 channel. Both of these plugins simulate the 4000 console from SSL. So a lot of you in the comments feel like I'm, I made a mistake with a huge increase in gain and not making sure you know, the master volume on each plugin is the same. So I am going to throw on my headphones and I'm gonna explain a couple things because first off, I never want information to be misleading. That's number one. So if something's not clear, I wanna clarify it so that we're all on the same page and so that you have an understanding. If there's ever anything misleading on my channel, I am gonna go back and correct that because I'm a man of integrity and that's just how I get down. So listen, let's let's hop into logic. Let's hop into logic, man. So, all right, I got the plugins pulled up. They're, they're set just how they were set in the previous tutorial. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description. Maybe put a card somewhere on this video so you can go back in and watch it so you can see what, you know, where this all comes from. So this is exactly how everything was set up in that tutorial. Now, one of the, the main things that people pointed out was this BX console SSL 4000E had a massive boost in gain right here, right? That's what it appears to be. But this V gain on the Brainworks console SSL 4000E is not what you think it is. This isn't your typical gain. When a lot of people hear gain, they think about, you know, just boosting the volume, mic gain. You turn the gain up, you get a whole bunch of extra volume, right? That is not what V gain is on this particular plugin. V gain is controlling the amount of noise that you would typically hear in analog circuits, in, in analog gear, right? So that could come from, you know, microphone preamps or EQ dynamic circuit or something like that. That is what that is. That's controlling that noise to give you more of an analog sound. And to be honest with you, it is not that huge of a difference and i'm gonna i'm gonna play around with it and let you hear as i'm turning the dial but the only time you're really really going to hear a major difference if you're cranking this gain up and you have multiple instances on separate channels and things like that then you're going to start to hear more of that analog noise and it's very very subtle and i feel like brainworks does this very well to add that that analog feel to their plugins so let's let's play it let me make sure i don't have let me make sure I don't have both. Uh, this so this is on my drum bus. Okay, so right now I only have the the BX console um, enabled. So I'm gonna play the drums, and let me make sure I got my let me make sure I got my audio settings right so you guys can hear. Okay, bet we should be good. Okay, so that is where the setting is with this V gain turned up and you guys think this is making a major difference in volume and it's not. So I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna turn this V gain all the way down. Still the same. I'll turn it all the way up.
So you see when I turn it all the way up, you kind of hear that that analog noise. That's all that is. But it's not controlling the actual vol like volume of anything. It's only controlling that simulated noise that you would hear from, you know, from some 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 hardware. So that's all that is. So if I turn this all the way down just to make it fair and I'll go back and forth between the EV2 and this plugin, um, you guys can hear what it's going to sound like. This is brain works. I'm going to turn it off. That's nothing. This is the EV2. Off. Brain works. All right. So now one thing I did notice and a lot of people were thinking hey, the brain works is louder because all you know it has all this extra gain one thing i noticed that i did not catch was that the output my main output here is actually 2.1 decibels lower than the ev2 and it still sounds better than the ev2 and i feel like it and i guess it depends on what sound you're going for i'm using this on a drum bus and i feel like the brain works gives me a thicker low end versus the ev2 but this is turned all the way down so if i match it at zero so it's at zero ev2 is at zero it's not making a huge difference like it's 2.1 right this is the ev2 Brain works still sounds better this is with v gain turned all the way down our in input gain here's at zero same here input gain zero everything is the same eq wise compression wise all of it so that is what's going on with this v gain there isn't a ton of massive gain going on on this this brain works console that v gain is only for the noise level that analog noise level that that you get so you can have more of that analog sound so hopefully that clarifies everything because man y'all were going in on the comments like yo this is this review this comparison is trash so hopefully that helps and especially if you're looking in, into getting one of these plugins you only want to get one you want to know which one is best um, then hopefully this will help in your decision so if this video was helpful please be sure to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace <laughs>